you're going to Horn and Hard Art. One of the most successful restaurant chains in America ever. One of the greatest inventions for these places that had little glass windows framed in brass with knobs. And if you put two nickels into the slot next to the windows, the windows would open up. Cubicles that the food would come out of. Starting in Philadelphia. Joe Horn came from Philadelphia. In 1941, Horn and Hard Art was feeding 10% of the population of the entire city of Philadelphia, one of the largest cities in America at that time. When they thought of the Automat, they thought of New York. There was nothing like the coffee at the Automat. In Philadelphia, they were more known as Horn and Hard Art. Horn and Hard Art couldn't be more popular. I could usually find a table upstairs where I could do homework while eating lunch. There it is, this wall of little compartments, the beautiful chrome-rimmed knobs. Horn and Hard Art beef pies or Horn and Hard Art chocolate pudding or Horn and Hard Art cream spinach. The food was good. The automat was where I learned to like creamed spinach. I loved the creamed spinach. Carl loved creamed spinach. Even though Horn and Hard Art only operated in two cities, for many decades, it was the largest restaurant chain in America. The number of restaurants it had, the number of people it served every day, the number of people it employed, it was a true phenomenon of its time. Got a nickel, Mac? Huh? Oh, yeah. Thanks. It was a tourist destination on par with the Statue of Liberty. Miss Duncan and I'll be lunching here. You like chicken pot pie? You get your food by putting coins in a slot. There was nothing like the automat. There she is. Where? You just went to the automat. 